Police say five students between August and November of last year were assaulted at that academy. They say all of them are five years old or younger, and police did confirm with me today that at least one of those students is a special needs student. Now, on Tuesday night, police served 12 misdemeanor warrants to that teacher who is reported to be 57-year-old Lisa M. Harbalis. Police said she was released on her own recognizance. Now, they say they were notified by parents of one of the victims on March 5th. They said their child had been assaulted by Harbalis in November and that they had reported the situation to the school system. Chesterfield special special victims detectives began looking into the matter and they found that three additional students had been assaulted and one was assaulted in August. And we asked why parents reached out to police about three months after that initial assault. Here's what they had to say. The, the parents had already reported this to the schools and uh, they were not satisfied with, uh, with the results that they were given, so then they reached out to us to uh, report the uh, assault and battery. When we got the call from the one parent uh, about their student, we started looking into our detectives, special victims detectives, started looking into that case. When they looked into that case, they discovered that there were other, other complaints in regards to that teacher that had also been investigated by the schools. So upon getting, uh, upon getting that information, uh, detectives did a little bit more work and they were able to uh, bring charges um, against the teacher. Now, police say they do not believe there are any additional victims at this time. A spokesperson for the school system, Sean Smith, sent us a statement saying, quote, the employee will not return to the school division pending adjudication of the charges. And we reached out to Chesterfield County Schools to see how long this teacher has been employed with them, as well as what that initial investigation looked like. And we have not received any additional information about that at this time. In Chesterfield, I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.